Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were wandering around the newly recreated world that Sam and Mac has created. Not to be confused with Sam and Max, by the way. And we have learned some interesting things. Apparently our goal is probably going to be getting three badges, because there's always three of something in every chapter that we need to acquire. And we need these badges in order to get close to Sam and Mac. Now, how we get these badges is the question, but I have a pretty good idea of how to get at least one of them. By the way, I find it pretty interesting that graffiti in this world is apparently for worshipping Sam and Mac. Sam and Mac rules. Lousy punks have no respect for spelling. I wonder if that means it's not illegal. Hmm. Well, anyway, we left our car over by the store where the rats are having a gambling ring. And conveniently enough, we need to go back there anyway to turn Max into a toaster. So let's go ahead and head on back there. And this time we'll actually leave by driving out of here. Okay, got that. And now let's go ahead and head on over. Back to the gift vault. Kinda think of it, I still need to use the psychic powers here at the gift vault, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before doing anything else. The Pharaoh sure loves a good light show. Okay, um is there a reason why we wanted to look at that? Was that a hint? Oh, Lord Salmon Mac's gonna love this. Hmm. Looks like someone's about to give Lord Salmon Mac the perfect gift. I hope it's me. You know, it's probably not a good thing to be future visioning your present self, talking about how nice it'll be that you'll accomplish the thing in the future vision. Is that you who? Yeah. Well, Muhu is a parody of Yuhu. For those of you who don't know, Yuhu is a chocolatey drink and it is pretty good. If you like chocolate milk or well, I don't I don't know necessarily think it's real chocolate milk. I think it's fake chocolate milk, which probably makes it sound grosser than it really is, but I like it. No, you can't have my toy. I need to give this to the general. Hey. Wow. What do you call deja vu in the future? Deja vu? You have a toy? Hmm. Out of curiosity, is there any pictures we can turn into here? Oh, there is. The big news. We'll have to try that in just a bit, if I can remember. And then just in case, I'll write it down. Turn into big news. But for now, toaster. Sam, get a lot of me! I'm for the love of Sam and Mac, don't say it. Toasty. Well, at least he's enjoying being turned into inanimate objects. I'm still hoping for something a little more fleshy at some point. Hey Sam! What is it, Max? Clue. Hmm. It's a good thing that storm cleared up before Grandpa Stinky tried to engage in any knee intensive activities like curling or hacky sacking. So we need to make it storm then? Well, I mean, obviously. I was thinking about that earlier. But that, I mean, that's obviously, apparently. That is apparently why we were focusing on the newspaper. Give me a clue. Hmm. I can hardly wait to bask in Lord Sam and Mac's presence. I hope I don't drool too much. Let's get a move on. Will do. Whee! I 
I've got a gift for Lord Sam and Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? How about a toaster? Hmm. No, I don't think his terrificness is all that into toasters. Darn. Darn. <gasps> I have an idea. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. I got worthiness issues myself. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Well, at least he makes a cute toaster. I know why we want to turn into this. No, not that. So, being a toaster isn't useful, at least not for this situation. However, we could be a storm. Not for this place. Although, it would be interesting if we could give a storm as a gift. I'm gonna try that. Look at me, Sam! I'm a low pressure system! I'm like a cushy government job, but with thunder! Are you precipitating? Um, sure! Precipitating, that's it! If only your mouth moved while you were talking. Are you a 2D sprite? You're totally a 2D sprite. So I was kind of hoping for a more 3D cloud. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you got? How about a storm cloud? I promise not to rain on the carpet. Yeah, uh, no. Darn. Uh, I hear you. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. That is so lazy. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of our first situation. Now, how do we get you to rain on Grandpa Stinky's parade? Turning. I can feel it. Yo, Stinky. Ah, can with the interruptions. Lord Salmon Mac won't be happy if I'm late, you know. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance, the brilliance of Lord, of Lord Salmon, Salmon, Salmon Mac is more than, is we, can more than we can stand. Ah, ah, my poor knees. Blasphemer. Heretic alert. Heretic alert. Heretic alert. I'm not a heretic, you blithering idiot. I've got bad knees. Tell it to the pit of contrition, punk. No! I love Lord Salmon Mac. Sam and Max, in recognition of the great service you've done to your lord and master, I have been instructed by Salmon Mac himself to reward you with one of his accessories of privilege. The ornament of fealty. Oh, he shouldn't have. As you are, everyone. Well done, Max. Yikes! What? Just a little brain cramp. Preparations are being made. Gather more accessories of privilege so that Sam can get next to Salmon Mac. No problem. And don't forget to bring the brain screw. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh, what a nag. Who are you talking to, Max? An, um, uh, an imaginary friend. I call him Floyd J. Dalrymple. You and your wacky psychic powers. So, as a reminder, there's this Norrington guy who is probably a bad guy, but, uh... Sam and Mac changing reality is not beneficial to this bad guy's plan, so he's helping us defeat Sam and Mac so that he can resume his evil plans. I mean... We do kind of need to fix the situation, so... Alright. The Ornament of Fealty is a reminder that I must always be on the lookout for enemies of Lord Salmon Mac. 
Oh, brother. It's also one of the accessories of privilege I need to get into Sam and Mac's inner circle. We'll get to that eventually. So, one task down. Do you see anything new? Stinky? Oh, great. You're back. Oh, well, I'm sure Lord Sam and Mac won't be upset over missing his lunch. I wonder if they'll destroy Grandpa Stinky's thingy of tithing now that he's a heretic and all. Oh, no. They'll just pass it on to the next schlub that gives Sam and Mac a one-of-a-kind gift. Wow. He's omnipotent, but he still takes time to recycle. A one-of-a-kind gift. Hmm. Now who are you texting? My lawyer. For Grandpa Stinky? For me! With Grandpa up on heresy charges, the whole Stinky family's going to be under a dark cloud. So to speak. <laughs> you look, uh, busy, so we'll let you get back to your, uh, work. It's been great, guys. Let's do this again real soon. So now what? Well, first things first, um... We solve this puzzle so I can remove this puzzle from my list. And I'm also going to go ahead and save. And from here, I'm not sure what to do. Can we click on the train out of curiosity? No. Well, I mean, the train's not there. I'm just trying to see if I can, like, click on the tracks or something. Come here, train. I probably can't click on you, but I'm gonna try anyway. If there's one thing I'm glad still exists in this world, in this new reality, it's trains. Hey, Sam! Zip it, little... Nope, I was clicking on the giant statue. That wasn't the train. So, now what? Oh. So that's where our psychic speaker is speaking from. Are you sure you should just be hanging out up there? Okay, so what do I want to do next? Is there still a place? Yeah, there's still a place we haven't gone yet. Let's go there. Okay, let's have a nice firm chat with this body-stealing crock muncher. That's no way to talk about our divine leader, Max. Oh, good grief. Kick him in the scarabs! Do it! Do it! Ooh. <laughs> well played, General Skunkape. You are truly our fiercest and smelliest warrior. I live for your praise, my liege. You know, I enjoy a good pummeling as much as the next brain in a jar, but that seemed really unfair. It may seem unfair, little buddy, but it's the only way those stinking rebels will learn to accept Sam and Max's righteous rule. You're creepy when you're sycophantic, Sam. Huh. Interesting that Max had not changed back to normal. Oh, wow. D did you just see the moles waddling down there? That was kind of funny. But anyway, earlier in this chapter, going into another room undid the transformation magic. Oh, I was about to look at you and you got knocked away. I almost feel sorry for the little dude. Oh, well, Sam and Mac knows best. Looks like Skunk Ape's working out a lot of unresolved issues on those mole men. It's cheaper than therapy and almost as funny! What else we got here? Check it out, Max. It's Lord Sam and Mac's box of power. I wish I had a box of power. Deep down, I think everyone does, Max. I'm a little concerned what Max might do once he gets a hold of that. Now that he's aware that you can change reality with that box. Projector? It's Lord Sam and Max Astral Projector. I think it keeps the sky from falling. Is that important? Hmm. 
Ooh! Toaster? It's a wedge co toaster, your omnipotence. A toaster? Greetings, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, the Divine, speaking. From this day forward, toasters are the most exalted things in all the universe, ranking just below yours truly on the awesome meter. Just thought you should know. Hmm, if I had one of those, I could give it to Salmon Mac. Oh, so the toaster is something we can give to him. But for the sake of fun, let's try out the other options. The constellation known as the Great Fudgy Stick was previously Eroticus the Joybringer until a Texas school board ruling in 2003. Whoa! What is that? It's a fudgy stick, sir. They're a big hit with the kids. Fudgy sticks? Hey-ho, everyone! Salmon Mac here again! We'd like everyone to know that fudgy sticks are officially our favorite things in the world! We think they're tops! Well, that's it! Goodbye! Pramiopeia? Oh. Often follow Gramiopia, the baby buggy, to guide their vessels home. Ooh. Vizier, what is that magnificent contraption? It's a pram, my liege. A pram, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, holy of holies here. From now on, crams are hereby decreed to be the ginchiest things in all creation. We love them, and you should too. That is all. Oh, sure. I love baby carriages. In New Zealand, this arrangement of nondescript stars has been designated the Big Fan. Paperweight! What is that? It's an electric fan, my lord. Uh, fan? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, the light of your lives and the breath in your lungs speaking. We just want you to know that, as of right now, electric fans are officially my most cherished things in the world, second only to our glorious selves. Carry on. All right. Get back to the toaster. Ooh. Hi ho, everybody. Just thought you should know that the bestest thing in the world are now toasters. Bye bye. So, that's useful. What else we got here? Inner circle members only. I don't think we're supposed to go in there. That doesn't apply to us. We're the freelance police. Stop! Only members of Lord Samun Mak's inner circle are allowed within ten cubits of the boy king. Oh. And how does sniveling jerk like you get to be in the inner circle? The same way as everyone else, by earning accessories of privilege. I like the face. How can I get these accessories? Just do exceptionally good deeds on Salmon Mac's behalf, like I did. Now scat. Well, that wasn't very nice. But it won't stop me from returning Lord Salmon Mac's brain screw. I just need to rustle up some accessory thingies. Alright, so... What else we got in here to fiddle with? That's not a thing. That's not a place. What's this? What's that? That is Lord Samonek's magnificent pyramid of corn dogs, a meticulously balanced marble of nearly 340 stinky brand corn dogs. Don't you natives know anything about your own country? 
All right, Egypt boy. You can steal my silky fur and my charming cartilage, but you'll never take away my snack time indulgences. In the name of the sweet, the salty, and the cheap yellow mustard, I hereby liberate these corn dogs! <gasps> Whoa. Vizier, uh, paperweight! Dust our eyes deceive us, or is that a tiny storm cloud disturbing our magnificent corn dog pyramid? It would appear so, your radness. Listen up, everyone! This is Samunak! Forget what we said before. Ugh. We have had it up to here with those tiny little storm clouds wreaking havoc! If you see a gathering of storm clouds, Report them to Grand Vizier Paperweight at once! A jihad against bad weather. <laughs> I'm starting to like this guy. I hope he goes after Grapple next. I hate those little balls of rhyme. Okay. Um, that's probably a problem. Salmon Mike sure does love his corn dogs. Corn dogs? Mine, 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 mine! What a spread! Let's see. We've got Boar a la Pharaoh, Ram's Blood Jigglers, Scarab Crunch, and... Ooh, is that Scorpion Noodle Bake? Anything else? Where's Mr. Tourist Guy? He was right here a minute ago. Did we scare him off? Huh. I guess we did. Oop, I clicked off the screen. Oh, we can't go down there. Um. Well, we got multiple options now. Apparently, turning into a cloud is a really bad thing. Let's try it. Ooh, bad idea, little guy. You're the thing Sam and Mac hates most. I'd hate to see you torn apart by a bloodthirsty mob. Uh, you're no fun anymore, Sam. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're not done here yet, but uh, it's almost time for the end of the stream, so I'm going to do the one thing I know at least to do right now, and that is the toaster situation. Beerfor says maybe I need to hate him, or blah, blah. maybe I need to. Blah, blah. Okay, let me try this again. Beerfor says maybe you need him to hate something in particular. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll kind of figure that out. For now, though, Ooh, that's brutal. let's do the toaster again. Give the pharaoh an aglet, but he had every last one of them destroyed. And to the gift vault. Let's get this gift situation settled. Now, being a toaster is a good gift. I bet Sam and Mac would love to get his hands on you, since he's a big toaster freak these days. Ick. But I bet everyone else is getting toasters for him, too. Huh. Maybe we can be the first. Oh, there's a new accessory option? Notice anything different about me? Hey, you got yourself an ornament of fealty. You must have punked some heretics, eh, bro? Actually, I think it was kind of a misunderstanding. Yeah, they always say that. All right, gift. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? Apparently, we can give up our badge. I'm not giving that back to Salmon Mac. He'll think I'm a re-gifter. How about a toaster? Ooh, nice. You think Sam and Mac will like it? 
Didn't you hear? Those wedge coat toasters are like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toasters all day. Oh, the vault's jammed full of them. The last thing he needs is another dang toaster. Darn. Uh. Darn indeed. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. I got worthiness issues myself. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Beer Force brings up an interesting idea. He says perhaps he needs to hate them first uh, so they are all destroyed. That is a good idea. Mm, unfortunately, I'm out of time now. That's kind of a bummer. But it's something to make note of, which I will do momentarily. But for now, we'll just go ahead and go to this end screen here so that I can say thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. That would be on Monday. On Monday, I should actually say what we're going to do, shouldn't I? On Monday, we're going to abolish all toasters and make sure that Max is the only toaster left in the world. And we'll get our gift badge and then we still have that other badge to get, which... I forget what the other badge was, but uh, it involves gambling, so we'll take care of that. Alright, we're done. Bye!